So you've got a video on your computer and you want to get it to your iOS device, like your iPad, iPad Pro, iPhone, iPod Touch, because you want to use that video to share in applications such as Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Flickr, or maybe you just want to edit it in something like iMovie. And you need to get it into your all folders, into your photos, not into just any folder like you might be syncing up some other video, it needs to go into what is now known as all photos, which used to be known as the camera roll. And then it can be used and shared as you like. So I'm using the iCloud photo library, which syncs over the air. So I load something up and through the ingenuity of the internet, it will then appear on another device. If you're still syncing by connecting via a cable, I have another video for that and the link is below this video. If you want to check to see whether or not you are actually using the iCloud photo library, then what you need to do is just go into your iCloud settings on your device to check to see if it's working there. Okay, so how do I get it in there? Well, I'm looking at photos here and you can see I've got some. I could go into my albums and choose my all photos just there, but I'm actually gonna go back to my photos here and just drop it in there. And it's as simple as dragging and dropping. So I've got something in my finder. I'm just gonna click here. There it is, one that I created today and that's very relevant because I'm gonna drop that in. And if I just go back to my photos here, there it is, it's come up. And what should happen next is that I'm just going to video my iPad here and in a moment it should update. There it is. It popped up right there. That didn't take too long, just a matter of about five or six seconds and you can see it's right there. So it's gone from the computer here onto the iPad, just as simple as that. Now this is a small file, so it didn't take too long and if it was a bit bigger, I would have seen down here, it would be telling me how long it's going to take to update in terms of progress of the size of the file. So big files going to take a little while. So I did say it was relevant why this file here was created today, because if it was sometime in the past, say December last year, if I drop it in here, then on my devices, it's actually going to appear in date order. So I need to scroll up through my collection or through my album to go to that particular one. So that's really important because the first time I did this, dropped it in and I thought, where's the video gone? And actually I had to scroll back to 2014 to find it. I'd worked out pretty quickly uh, what was going on there. So that is how you can get that in. And then what you can do is when you go into iMovie and here's a snapshot in iMovie, you can now see that video in the top corner there. So as I said, this is if you're using iCloud Photo Library, which is really neat because you can just take them from any device on my computer. I just put that across. So if you're using Windows, I'd said I've got a link below that shows you how to set it up on Windows, where you need to install the iCloud app if you haven't got it there. And then you'll see a folder in your computer where it's got the iCloud Photos and you click on that and you can see you've got downloads and uploads. And when you open up uploads, you can just then simply copy files in there. And again, it will just uh, move that across. Now, my Windows machine is just, I've just only put iCloud on there, well, reinstalled it. And it's so taking time for a particular one to move across. But that's because it's downloading the whole library right now. So that's how you can get your video into all photos so you can use it in other apps and use it for editing if you're using the iCloud photo library. If you're not using the iCloud photo library and you're still doing it by connecting a cable, then do check out my other video. And as I said, there's a link below that, below this video to see what's doing it there. Thanks for watching.